Hello, this is Emma Live Yoga. Welcome to this 10 minute yoga for neck and shoulders class. So pressing the palms of the hands together, take a big inhale. Exhale, begin to settle into the breath and body as you bow the head gently. Sinking into that inner world for a moment. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands to rest in the lap lightly. Inhale, exhale, as we begin to roll the shoulders. So inhale, lift the shoulders up around the ears. Exhale, roll them back and down. Inhaling to lift, exhaling to roll. Now try and keep the head relatively still, the gaze level, just have a shoulder shimmy. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, drop the shoulders and the elbows. Inhale, exhale, ha, that's it. So breathe out through the mouth. Inhale, exhale, ha. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, ha. Inhale, exhale, little shoulder shimmy once again. Inhale, take the arms out to shoulder height. Exhale, inhale, just begin to make small circles forward and then small circles back and then lean over to your left and drop the head to the same side. You can feel a stretch through the neck. You can bring the hands to the hips if that's preferable. You can bend the right elbow if it feels too intense. Inhale, exhale, reach to the opposite side, head to the same side as the lean. Breathing, feeling. Inhale to center, exhale, arms down, shoulder shimmy. Inhale, exhale, take the right arm across and then left arm under just to support the arm. Initial shoulder stretch. Hands can come to the shoulders, that's another option. You can release the chin towards the chest, that's another option. Breathe in. Lift up, inhale, exhale. Begin to wrap the arms around each other for Garudasana arms or eagle arms. And then just begin to take the arms from side to side. Now, know you can do this with the hands on the shoulders if that's easier, more accessible. And inhale, spread your wings, look up. Exhale, opposite arm over. Initial stretch of the shoulder blade. And then hands to the shoulders, drop the head forward. Inhale. Exhale, and then back into Garudasana arms as you begin to do the wrap around if you wish. Inhale. Exhale, just begin to take the elbows from side to side. Just releasing and feeling through the shoulder blades, the whole shoulder girdle. All the hot spots where we feel attention. Inhale, open out, exhale, release, shoulder shimmy. Nice, so from here we're coming through to a tabletop position. Pad the knees as you need to. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Pause there, inhale, shoulders draw back, exhale, and then just sink back. Inhale as you rock weight forward into the shoulders, and exhale to sink back. So just doing a bit of weight bearing here, which is very good for upper body, particularly women. Inhale to sink back, exhale. Now from here, you might use the bricks underneath the hands. Inhale, come through, so just slightly higher. Steeple the fingers and thumbs and then sink back. So a little variation which allows a bit more openness through the shoulders. Don't worry if your forehead doesn't meet the uh, mat, that's okay. Hands flat is also okay. Breathe in, feeling the lengthening spine in relation to the shoulders. And then inhale, lift up a bit. Exhale, press the palms flat. Inhale, bring the knees in a bit and pop your bricks to one side if you've used them. Exhale, inhale, press into the left hand and exhale, we're going to thread the needle. So you might thread to the forearm and look down, or you might thread all the way through and bring the side of the head down. Good, and then steeple the fingers of the left hand forward if you wish, that's an option. And then just breathing into the shape, feel what you can feel, no judgment. This position, inhale, bring that supporting hand back in, exhale, back to tabletop. We change sides, have a little sway, then inhale, press into the right hand, exhale, thread through to forearm, or all the way through. Inhale, steeple the fingertips of the right hand forward, and breathe.
steady breathing and then from here on the inhale you'll bring the hand in remember the hand acts as a lever to leave yourself up exhale back to tabletop inhale stretch the left leg back exhale stretch the right leg back that's an option for your downward dog or you can come to downward dog and walk the dog as you arrive if you need to keep your knees down and alternate legs that's fine release the head maybe have a little sway there even breathing and then inhale bring the left toes out exhale step through with the right leg as we come to warrior two position check your hips are level and then interweave the fingers be behind you roll the shoulders forward inhale exhale begin to fold forward towards humble warrior it might be a, a little forward you might release the head you might release the arms let's see what's possible this is just in front of the right knee Then inhale, lower the arms. If you lifted them, exhale, press firmly into the right heel, straighten the front leg. Inhale, we come to Prasrita Padottanasana C. Exhale, so we've kept the hands interwoven and we just release as far as is reasonable in this pose. Know your head may be dangling, your knees may be bent. That's okay. No force, no strain ever. Inhale, lift, squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Exhale, left knee out as we change direction. We stay with humble warrior. Inhale, exhale again, continuing to fold to your own measure. Lift the hands to your own measure. Try and lift through the back inner thigh as you press that back heel, just for stability. And then inhale, slowly come up just to avoid a rush, a head rush, and then pivot so that you can step back into plank pose or oh, knees down plank, exhale and then come down to seated however is best. From this position, Sukhasana or legs outstretched, take a moment in neutral and then release the left ear towards the left shoulder. Steady breathing as we come back to the neck. Open the palms of the hands. You might bring in both hands onto rest on the shoulder and side of the head as you breathe. The hand is a weight, no pushing or forcing. You might rotate the head towards the armpit just to find a different tendon in the back of the neck. Just seek out where it feels tired, where you can release. Inhale back to center, exhale, release the hands, inhale. Exhale and change sides towards the right shoulder. Again, you can bring the hands into this if you wish. Inhale. Exhale, another option again is to rotate the head towards the armpit and see how you feel. Steady the breath. And then inhale, rotating, coming back to center. And on the exhale, you're going to release both hands from the shoulder and the side of the head. Have a little shimmy there, come back to neutral. And come back through to tabletop from here. Inhale as you arrive and exhale as you lower to the belly or just arrive on the belly. Take the arms out like aeroplane arms. Bring the right hand in and then just roll to lay on your left shoulder, it'll feel weird. You can step the right foot back, press into the right hand so you feel stable. An option is to lift the right arm up, maybe back a bit, open out the armpit. Good, you can feel pretty intense this pose. So you can make the same shape from a seated position like we did right at the beginning. Exhale, roll to the belly, and again roll so that you kind of trap the right shoulder under. Step back with the left foot, and feel this through the hips as well. You can float the left arm up if you wish on the inhale. Exhale, so you're kind of using the weight of the body to release the front of the shoulder. It can feel pretty intense. No, that's normal. And then exhale to lower the hand, roll back to where you started. Hands underneath the shoulders, inhale, press up. Walk the knees in. Exhale as you come to Virasana, sitting back on the heels or high kneeling. Neutralizing the spine. Interweave the fingers again, shoulders forward. Inhale, exhale. You might fold a little 
You might fold towards the forehead or even roll on top of the head and take the arms up to wherever you can. So again, this is a shoulder neck combination release. You can rock from side to side and breathe in and feel in. And then lower the hands carefully. Inhale, press the hands underneath the shoulders to come back to wherever you started there. Exhale, and from here, we come to a comfortable seated position. Take a breath. Sit tall, press the palms of the hands together. Inhale, exhale, namaste. From this position, I would like to say thank you for practicing with me. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, arms to the side, hit the like button and I will practice with you very soon. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.